There's actually a craver ship there, and that's stopping this from becoming a colony, or at least slowing it down incredibly. So I need to get a combat ship to deal with that. Uh, it's 4460 with a really good health amount actually. Uh, so I could probably do with making another ship on Phoenix. Uh, my hero has reached a new level. So the next one, money is coming into control so I don't think I'll take that. I'm actually going to go for the extra influence. Okay. At some point, I may want to move my hero from this world, but it's got the most population. It's probably the best place for it. Definitely the best place for it currently. Right, let's get some movement done. Okay, and production. I've got quite a bit to do on Phoenix. Let's get another patrol ship out there. On Essa, let's get. Uh, that next I think and here I shall go for uh, this uh, production strategic resource there so I think I'll go for that next okay that can do some expeditions here Loot, science, nice. Should carry over. And yet more loot. But I hope it does. Ah, and this is something I might have mentioned. Right, doing this basically has uh, revealed all of the hidden isolated nodes on this constellation. So we can now see all of the uh, systems like this one. And it's just a case of how many there are. Uh, where are they? Uh, how good is my eyesight to find them? There's one up here. And I think that's the only other one I can see. In this circumstance. So none particularly near to us. That's really far away from anything. Okay. So it's arguably not realistic that you don't know where a star is or how far away it is from the beginning. But I do like the exploration system within Endless Space 2. Right, we finally got that tax. So the question is, what next? I uh, probably need to pick up the happiness from this building pretty soon, because I'm going to have six colonies. And that, yeah, it's getting to the point where it could cause an issue if I don't. So I'll go for that next, I think. Maybe some research after that. Wow. Yeah, we've got a bit of an issue when it comes to science, because of the events I've had. I do want to take this guy on, but what, are we, what is our strength like? 45, 44, 565. The Craver ship looks better to me. So I'm going to have to wait three turns. Uh, right, so I think I'm just going to keep that there and wait on it. I could do with another hero, actually stick on that fleet but we haven't found the academy uh, how far away from uh, am I from doing that so it's atmospheric curiosities which is a very specific type of expedition I think so I should be looking for those as well but uh, yeah, I don't really have enough patrol ships to uh, find them, I think. Right, let's end the turn. I expect that the academy will probably be in the constellation down here somewhere, so I could just use that patrol ship to try and get down there. Right, there was a tutorial pop-up there, which I missed. didn't read that. I don't know what it was. Okay. Uh, that can stay put. Because we had that event finding these long distance systems as well, uh, there's no point in using my probes in random directions, I think, in this circumstance either. I guess I could send one over to there now, but maybe I'll just save them up with that. There's lots of expeditions to do here. 
So I could come in here and specifically look for curiosities, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, that's an atmospheric curiosity there. So, yeah, let's grab them. Uh, right. There's two here and I needed six. Right, and I think that's it, sadly, for those types. So where can I go to grab some more? Gonos system has none I can see. No, not one. So I'll come down here with that. Right. Back up here. Let's end the turn. Okay, that event slowing my science could really badly affect me, but I should get some free techs coming up, and that's actually gone up a lot. All of a sudden, Soydan system is online. Eureka! Pev scale accelerators is unlocked on Empire. Okay, so let's get up that here first. Right. And get your movement done. Alright, so yeah, minus 10 is now back. Brilliant. This patrol ship is still waiting for that one before dealing with a craver threat. S a completed cerebral reality, so. Uh, actually, we're not getting any science because we're still getting minus 20 from uh, one event. In fact, there's two events there minus in our science. So it wasn't worthwhile building that arguably yet. Although, uh, we should get some more money off it. Uh, what should I go for next then? I'm going to go for the... I don't think there's a forest on that world, no. There's strategic over there. I may actually want to colonize that and move my population over there. Because the production would be better. It'd be slower on growth rate, that's the only issue, but I may do it. Looks like I am gonna do it. Right, so let's end the turn. Right, the patrol ship is finished. This is producing science, so it may be worthwhile getting more science up here. Let's get that out of Hannah. Uh, but that doesn't give me a lot of production, actually. Yeah, let's get the science up. It's going to take three turns. What's the manpower situation? Uh, I need 490 for my existing systems and fleets, so if I were to try and get more manpower currently, that's where it would end up. So I don't want to sacrifice any population yet. Uh, right, let's get the movement done. And we've actually found a Craver system. They have a ship in the Hannah, slicer ship. They've colonized the Sirius system, not good. I might have wanted that, probably did want that. There is a lot of uh, blue cat mold down here though. Right, this patrol ship is. There's nothing to do here actually, expeditions wise. I send that. I send a probe in that direction. I send that down there. Okay. Over here, this patrol ship is waiting on that one. Nearly got enough influence to buy a tech actually coming up, but uh, don't know which one I would want. It's probably a decent idea to keep back a certain amount of your influence in case of emergencies actually. Okay, let's end the turn.
Right, that's uh, gone to second stage, that event. So I've actually got an extra money, and all of a sudden, the money's looking pretty good. Um, new population on Phoenix. I'm going to need to get the jungle tech on there very soon, I think. Uh, oh, that's finished. Did I get a free tech then? I don't know. 80% chance to discover something. I think I got... Oh yeah, I don't think I did. Maybe I got money instead, basically. Right, Essa Tropical has been finished. Let's make that. And until that's made, I'm going to keep that populace there, I think. But when it's finished, it would probably be better to stick it on there. Okay, and on Ranas, let's get up that more production. Okay. We have found a special planet type, Kairos, which, yeah, is an endless planet, probably. I don't think they do anything special currently, though, that's going to be in a future update. There's a Craver scavenger ship there. Okay, and let's group up my fleet. So we now have two of these. Let's, you know what, I'm going to send a probe. I think it's going to be too long away, though, up there. And let's get these down here to take out the Craver ship, or at least try to. Right, how long's that got? Four turns. Okay. Uh, right, let's end a turn. I could have maybe used money or influence on these, but yeah, I don't think it was worth one. The influence one is best used on systems that are next to a system of very good food, otherwise it's not really worthwhile using it. The money one costs a lot and I didn't really have enough money until now, I guess. Okay. Right, that's reached there. There's no expeditions down there, sadly. So... I think... I am going to... I've actually got... A, yeah, I'm going to use a probe and send it down in this direction. Try and find a constellation that's definitely down there somewhere. And I'll move over there with that. I think the Crave Capital is here, which means Soydan could uh, come under influence threat eventually. But if I go into the tech tree, it won't be until they pick up this tech here before they can culture flip it and I guess the Cravers probably don't focus on that as much as some other empires do. Right, Soydan has come in here. So, uh, which do I want? I'm gonna go for that I think. This circumstance. And uh, Felix made some science. Much needed science. Let's get... that's pretty decent, but how long would it take? Six turns? It's not that bad. Could get more ships out, uh, but I think I'll just get the production up. That was money, which... Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have gone for that tech after all, but I thought I might have needed to. Right. It will become useful, of course, later on. There is a tech that allows you to spend uh, money on things like buildings, but I don't have it yet. It's there. Okay, let's end the turn. If you are going to spend influence on attack, it's probably best to do it at, uh, well, not spend a ton of research on it first, do it at the beginning, I think. We found a planet of Husk, which happens to be the Craver's homeworld. That's an Agano system. 
How good is this starting home system? It looks better than mine, and surprisingly. I think the AI gets some sort of bonus to their home system. Often. Uh, so they've got two colonized little planets. Well, four eventually. That barren. Yeah, to be honest, I've seen a lot better starting home systems for the AI than that, so that's lucky for us. Okay. Asteroid field down there. Oh, and we found the central constellation of Pegasus. So, there's a strong chance the academy's over there. I think we're going to get that patrol ship back over there in a second. Try and find the academy. The tech that allows you to find the academies uh, or enable the unlock of heroes is there. It may even be worthwhile me buying that. I wouldn't normally do, but you know what? I'm gonna do it. I think that's gonna cost me 406. Gives me extra influence as well, which is gonna be great for my empire, but only when our uh, planets are happy or ecstatic. So I won't be able to get it quite straight away, perhaps. Use it straight away. That's gonna be good anyway. So we should now get some progress on the academy. It says it's locked there. Hopefully it won't be next turn. Uh, the Centaurus system we found. What was that? Another scavenger. I don't have any expeditions. I think with this... Well actually, oh, that's not good. they got two ships there. Come back up there. Right, I probably have timed this pretty poorly. Uh, that system is really under threat. I'm going to need some more combat ships coming up. Might have to retreat there. Right, let's end the turn. I don't think we're at war yet, but I better check in the diplomacy. Yeah, so, yeah, we're at Cold War. And there's really not much you can do with the Cravers in terms of diplomacy, especially with the current update. Right, let's end the turn. Okay. They've got one, two, three. They... Oh. Looks like they're invading the minor race over there. Okay. I think they went there and moved back down. Which is lucky for me, since I'm about to attack here. Right, so we should get to see our first bit of combat coming up after. If we use the expedition there. Okay, more dust. Right. Yeah, let's do some combat then. Right, Battle of Kras. We have a combat advantage, it's saying based on this, but this isn't always correct. I'm going to put the watch option on, Let's put the advanced option on as well, it gives you a bit of tutorial information here. So, uh, what do they look like? They're best at short range, but it doesn't actually tell you what weapon type they have on that screen, or the shield type, so the only way you can really find out is by watching the battle currently. These different battle plans all give a certain bonus and I believe it mentions here each different type dominates another type. So it is short range will dominate medium, medium dominates long and long dominates short. Uh, the stars show these advantages, blah blah. And there's more information here. So because they're short range they more than likely go for the short range option which is interlock. My ships happen to be long range and you can see it dominates a short range because the star shows up. This trajectory results in a range that gives the flotilla an advantage over the enemy if the ships are designed to be effective at that distance which they are because I redesigned or gave my ships uh, lasers at long range uh, which we can see here. Long and medium actually they're pretty good at. Right. Let's get fighting then. 
Now he may very well retreat here. Now he went for broadside, which I don't think was actually the short option, surprisingly. Uh, broadside is the medium option, I think, which counters long. Which uh, means he's going to counter us. But we've got two ships, and they work lo well at long range, so that it should do pretty well in this battle, if he doesn't retreat. He did retreat, though. Okay, I thought he might stay, but uh, he didn't. Retreating, he took a ton of damage. Now, they could come back with those other two ships coming out, but... Yeah, they might not. For the time being, I am going to keep an eye on this colony. In five turns, it gets done. Uh, let's stick that on guard. Which may not be a great idea. Okay, I could speed it up by spending money, but I don't really want to. With the money I've got now, I want to upgrade a hero's ship later on. And use him as a fleet commander, I think that's what I'll do with the money. Uh, right, this is back over here. Let's take a trip over here. Now, moving not to long warp lanes actually takes a long time to do. It's just going to take five turns to get over there. Okay, that's finished some production. Uh, oh, I didn't realise this. So we don't find the heroes yet because I haven't built this building. So I need to build that building before we actually get hero progress, actually. So it's probably a race between me building that and me finding the academy over in this uh, direction, I guess. I think if one race finds the academy, everyone finds it, though. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, I'm going to start on that. Right, let's end the turn. Arguably, should be making more combat ships. After that research, I may actually go for the combat ship tech. Right, that's colonized. Let's get up that first. Okay, population one up. Let's get the automated movement done. Right, those two ships are down there. Uh, they've lost a bit of health there. 135 attack, 185 defense. Better than mine. So I really don't want them coming back up. Uh, yeah, they're in progress of potentially taking that. It's going to take them a while though. They have 200 manpower available on those ships though, so it is, they will be able to do it if they stay there long enough. What's my manpower situation like? I need a lot still. My new worlds. Essa just completed that. Maybe I shouldn't have gone for this option, but this option actually gives you better weapons. It gives you a 10% damage boost, so I think that was the best option available out of the three. Uh, the other options is one to do with outposts, and there's one which doesn't seem to do anything. Uh, right, let's get up that, I think. Here, I think I just completed the strategic building now, didn't I? So I can move this population across. And let's check the stats over here. Uh, right, so they're actually best used on temperate worlds, so I might keep them there for the influence. But if we do move over there, I get less food but more production. I'll keep one there then. Move him across. They're best used on temperates. Yeah. Right, okay, that's good. And Ranas. Let's... Right, I've done the production here. I'm going to have some approval issues coming up if I don't get that soon, but we're okay for the time being. So content. I shall get up. That has an anomaly, so that would be particularly good. That science building here. Right, let's end the turn. Phoenix is close to its pop cap. They've returned there. The damaged one. Okay. That's run out. 
That was a mistake by the AI, because I'm not going to attack them again. Right, let's do... Yeah, he did broadside, didn't he? So that counts as long range, but I'm going to do the same option here. And we'll watch it again. I think he might stay this time. If I do that and he goes short, it will count to me. Anyway, so... Yeah, I'll just do that. His best option is actually going short. Yeah, and he did go short. Which, yeah, I think he's staying. Because I think if he does retreat, he'll get destroyed. It's mad. weapon rather than lasers to me which since he's specializing in short as well I think the guns are short range so I may want to use armor instead of shields in future against the ships if they're all uh, of that type I have to keep that in mind maybe redesign my ships around that fat later on uh, Soydan wasn't paying attention then I don't know what it completed I think I'll get that up next Okay. Powder production. Okay, nice. Right, so... What is that? Strategic. Yeah, I don't have any here yet. Right, let's get the movement done for the turn. This is done in two turns now. End of turn. Someone just discovered the academy, so that building I was making didn't need to. You probably only need to go, f well, try and build that building on really big maps which aren't currently available. Yeah, so that quest has failed, and I don't need that anymore, so I might as well stop making it, I think. Uh, is there any reason to make it? It would cost upkeep. I would actually gain it extra influence for finishing it. But it would cost maintenance. I'm gonna scrap it. Yeah, I just don't see a reason to. I don't think it would give me a bonus, a decent bonus in any way. Yeah, so that's gone. I had a feeling that was gonna happen, but I wanted to get the academy up soon to get the heroes. Uh, right, so patrol ships. Since they are using guns, I am actually going to change the design of these, I think. I want to get one more out. Uh, you can see here that the guns are... Yeah, that's what he's using, the basic high slugs, pretty sure of it. So, I think that would be better. It's projectile defense rather than energy defense. Projectile defense covers missiles as well, I believe. That's a supply design. Okay, and yeah, let's get a third one out. Right. You start to colonize the Antares system. Ah, uh, which I don't really like, frankly. I don't want him colonizing too much. Could maybe get a ship over there to delay its uh, progress. It's only two turns away then. Right, let's enter. 